हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल वंस अगेन टुडे टॉपिक इज टूर टू जेनेवा कवरिंग लेक जेनेवा फर्स्ट हियर वी आर हेडिंग टुवर्ड्स लेक जेनेवा व्हिच आई हैव हर्ड इज सो ब्यूटीफुल दो द वेदर इज वेरी बैड एंड टेंपरेचर इज गोइंग इन माइनस स्टिल द क्यूरियस हर्ट लाइक्स टू सी द ब्यूटीफुल लेक जेनेवा व्हिच इज वर्ल्ड्स ब्यूटीफुल टूरिस्ट प्लेस so beating the chilly cold we are heading towards lake geneva to have its glimpse almost we have reached to lake you can see so many vehicles are moving here we have to cross the road and then go to the lake so we are waiting we are waiting for the vehicles to stop so that uh, we can just uh, cross the road and see the beautiful lake geneva yeah so we have reached the lake geneva and you can see here the map which is uh, always there whenever you go to lake geneva you will find this map right in front of you and some part of it is torn also <laughs> but still it's there and uh, you can see what are the things available there we have reached the lake and waiting for the cruise tickets so that a cruise can tour us around the beautiful lake from there we will see our favorite fountain jet dau I'm really excited for this wonderful tour. Everything here is the point of attraction and make me feel better from deep of the heart. Touring around Geneva is my dream come true. Later in this video I will let you know more about Geneva so be with me till the end you will come to know more exciting things about Geneva. One of the most iconic symbols of Geneva, the Jet DAU, is a 140 meter tall water fountain situated right where the Rhone River flows out of the lake. You really have to see the jet in person to appreciate how huge it is. Almost no other water fountain in the world comes close. and the sheer volumes of water necessary to keep it operational are insane to think about in case you are wondering the jet has been spraying unsuspecting tourists in geneva since about 1891 mostly uninterrupted except for down times during particularly harsh freezing winters You should see the crystal clear water of this lake the tiny and beautiful pebbles underneath the water is clearly visible luckily i could get the glimpse of a huge jet dau the most beautiful water fountain originated in lake and situated in lake this is perhaps the world's biggest fountain that i have seen right in front of me while passing in the cruise this waterfall is insane and incredible with its mesmerizing wonderful beauty but let me inform you here if you visit the lake geneva during extremely harsh winter then you won't be able to see the beautiful fountain Entry to the lake is completely closed during the harsh weather as it may lead to some accidents. Rest of the time entry to lake is open and you can enjoy the beautiful fountain while traveling in the cruise. This is some information about Lake Geneva. Now let's explore the more interesting facts. about Geneva. This city is not only important to Switzerland 
but to the world. While proceeding, we will know almost everything about Geneva. Two to Geneva. There is not a single educated person in the world who doesn't know about Geneva. The world's each country flag you can see right front of you which is really the matter of right to visit here once in your lifetime. So let's proceed with more information regarding Geneva while having the virtual tour. While looking at huge Mahatma Gandhi statue in the middle of beautiful park in Geneva make me feel proud that I am also one of the member of independent India. His deed is unforgettable not only to India but to the world. Geneva is a city in Switzerland that lies at the southern tip of expensive Lake Geneva. Surrounded by the Alps and Jura Mountains, the city has views of dramatic Mont Blanc, headquarters of Europe's United Nations and the Red Cross. It's a global hub for diplomacy and banking. French influence is widespread from the language to gastronomy and bohemian districts like Carouse. Geneva has not just been the stage for some of the most world-changing events in the international diplomacy, it's also known the world over as the home of CERN, the leading center for nuclear research that has contributed to countless milestones, perhaps most Notably, the first observation of the Higgs boson in 2012 using the Large Hadron Collider at CERN's headquarters just outside of Geneva. Geneva is the base for some of the world's largest organizations such as the World Health Organization, the World Trade Organization, the International Committee of the Red Cross, the World Bank and of course the United Nations. Geneva is home to the European seat of the United Nations as well as the international headquarters of the Red Cross. As a result, the city is often described as the peace capital. Geneva is important to Switzerland called the capital of peace. Geneva hosts the European headquarters of the United Nations as well as several other international organizations. The small city is a home to a considerable number of international expatriates bringing a multicultural fit to the city. Zurich might be the larger, busier and more heavily visited Swiss city with a famous lake within its limits. But nothing can beat the tranquil beauty of Lake Geneva. If there is one industry in Geneva that towers above all the rest in terms of revenue, employment and other markers, it's that of international finance. That's no big surprise either as the headquarters of the World Trade Organization along with countless big banks such as Credit Suzy, ING and UBS, the city has long been one of the most important global financial centers. You might not have heard of it before, but Geneva is also known for being among the global hotspots in the commodity trading. From oil to gold, from cotton to rare earths, anywhere from 10 to 30 percent of some of the most important resources to the global economy are traded right here in Geneva. Closely behind only the finance sector, watchmaking is one of the longest lived and most important industries in Geneva. If names like Rolex, Patek Philippi or Piaget ring <laughs> a bell for you then place a pin by Geneva on your to visit world map. Swiss watchmaking has been compared to fine art and nowhere can you experience what this truly means better than here. 
Geneva is known for being one of the most expensive places to live in the world. The rows of the United Nations member states flags in front of the United Nations office in Geneva. Geneva's association with the politics on an international scale goes for deeper than the Geneva Convention. Geneva is also famous for serving as one of the main headquarters of the United Nations. The famous complex called the Palais des Nations was originally designed as the headquarters of the League of Nations. Today, the influence of the UN presence in the city is one of the things that has made it so unusually cosmopolitan with the biggest chunk of Geneva's residents coming from abroad. This is only possible because every UN headquarters site is officially designated as international territory, which is to say that you can actually cross borders without ever leaving Geneva. If you have a sweet tooth, you are going to love Geneva. While you can argue that there is no one birthplace of Swiss chocolate and the tradition extends almost equally throughout the entire country, there's also no denying that Geneva is famous for its particular take on sweet delights. Geneva is chock full of chocolate tears from internationally renowned brands to tiny boutiques, some of which have been in the business for centuries. <laughs> so these are the important information that I would like to share with you. So thank you so much uh, for being with me till here. Uh, if you have not subscribed yet, please I would request you to subscribe to my channel. Uh, so that you can get uh, more videos on Switzerland. Thank you so much. Please enjoy the video. See you soon in my next video. Thank you so much.